Get ready to make a mug with a lid. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number 22 in our Beginner Pottery Wheel project series. Today you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a mug with a lid. And you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, please like the video. And if you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the mug with the lid, which will also be down below in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'll be starting with the clay already centered. So if you're having any problems with centering your clay, you can check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay to the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. I'm starting with a pound and a half of Amico Stoneware 38 white clay. Press down with both thumbs to start opening your clay. Then place your anchor hand on the side of the clay and use your fingers to continue opening. Stop to check the thickness of the bottom with your needle tool. A third of an inch is good. Push the base of your mug outward before pulling up the walls. Don't forget to compress the bottom with your sponge to keep those S-cracks away. Squeeze a good amount of water on the clay and pull up the walls. Collar in with both hands when the mug starts to flare out. Get the water out of the bottom with your sponge from time to time. If the water sits too long, it will weaken your clay. You want to apply an even amount of pressure with your fingers as you slowly bring up the walls.
I'm using a metal scraper to smooth out the outside of the mug and getting rid of the water and slip on the inside with my sponge. Then making a swirl design on the mug with the small ball stylus dot tool. making a nice foot using the single edge of the ultimate edger. Before setting the mug aside, measure the inside with your calipers. A ruler will do if you have no calipers. To make the lid, I have 6 ounces of Amoco 38 white clay that's already centered. If you're struggling with centering, I have a video on problems with centering that can help. I left a link for you in the description below. Press the clay downward using the side of your right hand to form the size of the lid. After marking the width of the calipers on a piece of paper for the inside rim of your lid, measure the outside of your mug. You will want the width of the lid a little bigger than the mug. Once you have the outside width, Bring the clay out to the center to form the inside rim. You want it deep enough to hold a tea bag. Check the width and smooth out the lid. Once the lid is no longer tacky, I'm removing it from the bat with the wire clay cutter and flipping it upside down, smoothing it out with the small soft red rib and making a swirl design with the small ball stylus dot tool.
then removing the mug from the bat and making a handle. To make the handle, I'm using the handheld clay extruder and the die with the groove in the middle. After cutting the handle with your potter's knife, mark the mug with the needle tool. Score with the wire scoring brush and apply slip with the detail brush. To ensure your handle doesn't crack, it's important to score and slip both the handle and the mug. When pushing down on the handle, make sure your other hand is bracing the inside of the mug to keep the clay from caving in or cracking. Then smooth out the clay with the modeling tool and the smoothing sponge. Once the mug and lid are bone dry, it's time to bisque fire in my scut kiln at cone 04. Wipe down your mug and lid with the damp sponge. This gets any dust or particles off to help the glaze bond to your mug and lid. Apply wax resist to easily get any glaze off the bottom and rim of the lid.
Once your mug and lid are dry, it's time to glaze. I'm dipping the lid in Amico Toasted Sage, then doing the same to the inside of the mug. Twist the mug as you pour the glaze out to evenly coat the inside. Then place upside down so the glaze doesn't pool on the bottom and apply a coat of toasted sage only on the top half of the mug with the small artist saw fan brush. Always mix your glaze well before applying and put the glaze through a strainer to catch any clumps or debris that may be lurking in the glaze. If you're new to glazing, check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link for you in the description below. For the bottom half of the mug, I'm applying only one coat of Amico Obsidian. Once the glaze is dry, I'm applying a second coat of toasted sage on the top half only.
is dry, I'm dipping it in Amico Indigo Float. Then pouring Indigo Float on the inside and outside of the mug as well. Let the glaze dry and make sure that the bottom of the mug and the rim of the lid are glaze free before they are both placed separately into my scut kiln for a final firing at cone 5. Here's the finished mug with the lid. It's a good size mug. Not too heavy either. And I love how the lid turned out. You could put a tea bag here if you like also. All in all, this is a pretty nice mug. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos in the comments section. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own mug with the lid. You can check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters here. And don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.